Well, the jury is out now in the case of a man charged with burning two historic churches in Douglas. Yeah, prosecutors say Eric Ridenauer burned the churches because he claims God objects to gays and women as church leaders. Kagan 9's Craig Smith has been covering this very unusual trial. He joins us live from federal court. Craig. You know, I've covered trials for more years than I really want to get into here, and I can't think when I've seen someone act as their own lawyer. However, Eric Ridenauer did not really do much in his own defense. We thought he was holding off for closing arguments to try to say that the Bible controlled his actions. Instead, he simply stood up and quoted a verse from the Bible that says no one should be involved in any sort of sworn oath. And if you've ever been in a court in a court hearing, and there are sworn oaths every time a witness takes that witness stand. So Ridenauer said he simply would not participate that left the jury to go out and consider his verdict. Eric Ridenauer has served as his own attorney. He chose not to call any witnesses and barely questioned any of the prosecution witnesses. In earlier hearings, he made it clear he intends to base his defense on the Bible. The prosecution has based its case on accounts of Ridenauer saying it's against God's law for gays or women to be church leaders. St. Stephen's Episcopal Church had a gay pastor. First Presbyterian has a female pastor. Prosecution evidence also includes video of a car that matches Ridenauer's near the churches as the fires broke out. A bottle of lighter fluid fluid found in the fire debris and store security video of Ridenauer buying a bottle of that same sort of fluid. Now, jurors consider the case for less than an hour this afternoon. They'll be back tomorrow at 8 a.m. to go back to work. Renauer faces six counts in all, just the two arson counts. Each one of those carries a range of punishment between five and 20 years in federal prison. Reporting live at Tucson Federal Court, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.